This is Twit. Open Mirage is about, uh, uh, well, let's actually let's read the first paragraph on their webpage, which is really nice. Uh, it's about, uh, it's a library operating system that constructs unikernels, we'll have to ask what that is, for secure, high-performance network applications across a variety of cloud computing and mobile platforms. That sounds pretty exciting, sounds very ap apropos, given that we're all into the cloud, we're all doing lots of things and lots of different platforms, so this is right down the wire, right, what we want to do. Um, yeah, welcome to the show, Anil. Um, and uh, I gave sort of my view of what it was about. Can you go ahead and uh, sort of fill us in? What's the problem that this is solving? Yeah, so, so Mirage is one of these, these projects that started off uh, curing a little itch that we had when we were building the Zen hypervisor. So uh, I've been working in Zen from the, from the early days, and we had this problem where uh, how do you manage a hypervisor? You have to manage a hypervisor by using an operating system like Linux, and you have to configure Linux, and you have to take care of uh, building all of the, the tools and things you need on top of that. But if a hypervisor is involved, it's got to be as simple and as reliable as possible to work with. So we started building a new operating system. And the idea is that this operating system collapses the layers of software in the cloud. So instead of uh, requiring uh, a Linux installation with lots of processes and configurations, you just write a little bit of code and it compiles it directly into a microkernel that runs directly on the hypervisor. So instead of targeting physical hardware, we're just using the Zen hypervisor as uh, the baseline target for which we compile code. So this way we can eliminate large layers of uh, the software stack that are really just around for legacy reasons. You know, we, we tend to use Linux in the cloud because it works with physical installations of Linux, uh, and the cloud really makes Linux into an emulation layer for, uh, uh, for running applications. So why not just try to uh, cut out some of, the, uh, uh, some of the intervening fat and just see how far we can get. So that's really where Mirage came from. And these days, self-hosting the websites, uh, running up by itself, uh, it's, uh, it's survived multiple hacker newsings and, and such things recently. So it's actually a really nice usable system for building things that target the cloud.